Okay, TM Nation, what you're looking at are the new Soundpeats Wings 2 True Wireless Earbuds, which are officially out right now. So if you're interested, you can pick a pair up right now for $27.99 using the 20% off code that I put in the description. Now, this is going to be another good budget pair of earbuds for people who have trouble keeping buds in their ears during workouts. But besides the sports design, these feature 13 millimeter drivers in each earbud for a dynamic sound stage with thumping bass as well. They give you up to eight hours worth of use on a charge. They have a built-in low latency gaming mode and Bluetooth 5.3 with compatibility with the Soundpeats app. Inside of the box, you get your user manual and other documentation, a USB type C cable to charge the case, and you get your earbuds and the case, of course. You don't get any ear tips with these as the design is semi in ear, so they don't go all the way down into your ears, which is something that I know some people prefer so that they can always maintain a certain level of situational awareness. The charging case itself is made out of plastic, but it has a nice leatherette type finish to it on the top and the bottom that makes it feel a little more premium. It is on the larger side since the earbuds are kind of large too so it will likely bulge out a little if you throw it into a pocket. Including the case you can get a total use of about 30 hours with the earbuds and on a single charge like I said earlier they'll offer about eight which is definitely respectable. Now it will take about two hours for you to charge both the earbuds and the case from completely dead because unfortunately these don't feature a quick charging feature and if you're wondering if the case supports wireless charging it doesn't moving on to the earbuds the design is fine for me as I said earlier they are on the larger side with the wings however they are lightweight and they've never felt uncomfortable in the ears for me so I've been able to wear them for three to four hours at a time without a problem. I did also use them for exercise, of course, and they did great for light activities such as walking and jogging, but I also had no issues with them staying planted in my ears during heavier workouts such as jumping rope. I also want to say that they never malfunctioned on me while I had the earbuds sweaty. Now, I'm not sure what IPX water resistance rating these carry or if they carry a higher IP rating because the actual rating is not posted that I could find on the website. All it says is that these are waterproof. With the Bluetooth 5.3 connection, I haven't had any issues with any noticeable lag watching YouTube videos or Amazon Prime movies through those apps on either my iPhone 14 Pro or my Z Fold 4. The low latency gaming mode also cuts the latency down to about 60 milliseconds, which made playing Call of Duty Mobile a lag-free experience for the most part. I do like the fact that you have full playback controls with these earbuds and they are executed by touch, so so far they have been accurate for me and I haven't had any issues with them picking up my feedback. You just want to be careful with how quickly or slowly you tap. But besides that, like I said, you have everything that you would need. You can toggle on or off your gaming mode. You can control your tracks, your calls, your volume, and summon your voice assistant if you'd like. For the sound quality that these provide, I will say that it is nice to have the app to change the sound signature. The semi-in-ear design is not my favorite because it typically lets in more environmental noise than I like. That being said, I wasn't blown away with the sound quality out of the box and I certainly do not expect audiophile grade sound from a pair of sub $30 earbuds, but after playing with the EQ a bit, I was able to get a sound signature that I enjoy. Inside of the app, you do have the option to create your own EQ from scratch, complete the sound test to have the app create one for you, or you can choose from pre-built ones as well. I set my EQ to be heavy on the highs and the bass with the mids dialed back a bit and that's exactly how they come through the buds. But again, going back to the fact that the design of these is semi in ear, you are going to lose some of the fidelity in the shuffle. So these can get a little bit muddy, especially when you crank them up above about 80%. Overall, if you're familiar with the typical sound signature that you'll get with open style earbuds, these are going to provide a similar listening experience, which is not not what I prefer, but again, I do know that there are people out there that love this style of earbud. So if you fall in that category, you probably will like these earbuds and the sound that they provide, but I personally do not like the airy sound. 
for the call quality, I have made a few voice calls using them and I do think that they'll be more than adequate for most people, but I did take a couple of samples for you guys just so that you can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. All right guys, so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 14 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing right now is coming directly from the microphones on them and I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this sample. Right now the room is relatively quiet, so this should give you a pretty good idea of the quality. And now I have some simulated background noise playing in the background. This part of the test is aimed at seeing how well these microphones can focus on your speech while rejecting some of your ambient noise. And I'll just go ahead and be quiet for a second so that you guys have an idea of how loud the ambient noise is. And now I'll go ahead and start talking again. So again, this should give you a pretty good idea of how well these microphones can focus on your speech while rejecting some of your ambient noise. All in all fam, these are a budget friendly pair of exercise earbuds that you don't have to baby around by any means. No, you aren't getting ANC, transparency, or wireless charging with the case. So if those are must have features for you, you are gonna have to look elsewhere. But if you like the semi in-ear design and you want a budget pair of true wireless earbuds for exercise, these are definitely worth a look, especially if you can get them for under 30 bucks. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.